Welcome to the Disability Channel and the Today Show. I'm your host, Jay Stoyan, and you're watching your TV out in Halton, and we are very excited today because we have on the Mayor of Burlington, Marion Mead Ward. Mayor, thank you so much for being on the call today. You're very welcome. I'm thrilled to be with you. Yeah, it's a little different with our Zoom. Normally, we would be out in the studio. By the way, we do uh, we do have an office now in Burlington at Tech Place. So when oh, a, awesome. yeah. yeah. So when the world gets back to normal, we're gonna have you over to the studio for a sit down interview, like, like the old days. The old fashioned way. Yeah. So um, again, thank you. We have on the line. We have the mayor of Burlington, Mary Mead Ward. Mary, uh, first of all, let's talk obviously about updates with COVID. If you could share any uh, great positive news or anything, our I guess our community should know about, please. Well, you know, I think we're all, uh, you know, we've been living with this global COVID pandemic, uh, COVID-19, for eight months now, and everyone's looking for good news. And so uh, one really, really cool uh, piece of good news recently was the announcement that Brock University is moving their uh, education faculty to Burlington, moving a campus from their Hamilton site, which uh, they had kind of aged out of and grown out of. Uh, and they're relocating to Burlington. And I can tell you when that uh, hit the street, residents were thrilled because they're just looking for something positive uh, to celebrate. And of course, the uh, choice of Burlington having the post secondary education um, institution has been a, you know, it's been a dream of mine for 10 years. And uh, it's in our city's strategic plan. It'll bring jobs, it'll bring young folks, it'll bring potential workers, which I know our businesses are really happy about. So much good uh, in that one announcement. There's lots of other good things going on to do, but um, you know that it, it just the response really showed me how important it is and how hungry everyone is for some good news. It's not about COVID, <laughs> and it's just something about how awesome our community is. And I think the fact they chose Burlington, we should all be really proud of that and what that means for our community. That uh, they wanted to be here, and we're thrilled to have them. Actually, I did read that in the newspaper, so congratulations on that. That's wonderful. Berlin is such a great city. It's got, it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Myself coming from Toronto, it's got the, the, the city feel, but it's got such a community feel, like such a togetherness. So I have to commend you on that because I know you're such a Burlington girl. And I know before you became the mayor, you were a counselor. So briefly, can you tell us, I guess, the biggest difference between the two jobs? I bet and you you are on a different uh, stage and platform. It's a huge honor, and it's also a a, a big responsibility because uh, whatever I say reflects on the on the entire city, it reflects on my council, and so you you have that responsibility to uh, to showcase your city well, represent your city well. And uh, also advocate very strongly. There's, you know, as we have just recently done, a group of uh, mayors in Halton, myself included, and the regional chair advocating not to go back to uh, stage two shutdown uh, for COVID, but take a more evidence-based strategic approach. So those are the kinds of things that you do at the mayor's level. And, you know, I, I mean, I was a columnist, as you probably know, for 11 years, yeah. journalist for 22 years before I became a council member and uh you know i was used to sharing my opinion and and now i have to think about how does this reflect on the city is this a, an accepted position of our council uh, does this reflect what the community is telling me and i i compare it a little bit to you know when if um if, you know if my my neighbor across the street says he doesn't like beef it's no big deal but if uh, someone like an oprah winfrey says mm -hmm. she doesn't like Beef, the whole industry is uh, in jeopardy. And I'm, I'm not Oprah, but I'm also not my neighbor across the street. That's right. So somewhere in between there, uh, I there's a much greater uh, awareness and appreciation that at the mayor's level, this is different from council. Sure. Uh, what you say has ramifications uh, citywide and far beyond uh, your personal views. So, uh, you know, so I carry the city with me whenever I uh, say or do anything, and that's on my personal time too. Uh, yeah. You have to be, you have to lead by example, and people are looking for that integrity uh, between the personal and the professional. So uh, very different. I do, uh, I do less constituent work. I do a lot more intergovernmental advocacy work. Uh, a lot of 
have citywide initiatives as opposed to specific um, initiatives related to a ward. That's what the ward counselors are there for. So yes. we're very closely with them and rely really significantly on them to kind of look after those ward-based issues and I focus on the city issues. Well, and I think just to add that as a, as a great result, like you just said, regarding the mayors and, and MPP Jane McKenna getting together to say about, how, you know, we need to sort of really take a look at this and analytically and we got stats. So I, I really I applaud you and I thank you for actually, I guess, drilling down deep and really coming up with stats to say, you know what, this is where we're at right now. Uh, maybe we should sort of take a look at it. So I, I thank you for that. And I just all want to add that I know that you also, you're also a mom, so you have to juggle that also. Uh, tell us a little bit, not too much, I don't want to infringe in your family life, but do tell us, how, how do you juggle that? Well, my kids are older and, and now, so they're uh, 21 and 19. One's uh, not even living here. She's off at university, living and working in another community. Uh, one is studying from her room, yeah. uh, you know, remotely university, and I still have one in, uh, just finishing up high school, also remotely. So I, you know, I'm, my my kids are pretty independent, uh, which is great. But yeah. they, you know, we still uh, we still live together, and uh, you know, I, I the, the saddest part I suppose of my job is the the sacrifices that your family make. They share my time with the city, and I can tell you, in the last eight months with the with the pandemic, they've uh, it's not really been a share. Yeah. <laughs> really not seen me much at all. Um, but, you know, when I started, uh, it was in, you know, 10 years ago. So they were, uh, they were, they were high school. They were really and, younger, yeah. Uh, and grade school, yeah. And, and there, there's obviously challenges uh, with that. Um, there is no balance in this, in this life, uh, you know, and, and certainly not when you're an elected representative. But, I, I am so grateful that my entire family, including my kids, uh, are, are hugely supportive of what uh, of the work that I do and the service uh, to the community, and I know they're proud of me. So it is something that you really have to get into it with your whole family and with their support. It would be next to impossible, I think, to do it without that. Yeah, family life is so family life is so important. So on the line today, we have Mayor of Burlington, Mary Mead Ward. I just want to let uh, the people know that the mayor was supportive with the Disability Channel from day one, with the proclamation, May 19th, Abilities Day, supporting us at um, at our local pub for a fundraiser. We raised over $3,000 for the Autism Center, Bond Autism Center out on Upper Middle. And then we had another one for Easter Seals at Squires, at Fairview and Walkers, and again, uh, the mayor and Jane, uh, Jane McKenna MVP stepped up. So. I really want to thank uh, yourself. You're a real powerhouse lady. You're very kind to us. We really appreciate that. Um, and I just want to let people know that we are in Burlington. We do offer employment programs for persons with disabilities and uh, veterans. You don't have to be disabled, but because we are the disability channel, that is our, our kind of focus. And we love people out there like Legged Kia, uh, Kojiko, RBC, they've been very supportive. If uh, if people do want to get involved with uh, with the City Hall or Burlington uh, Mayor, what could they do? How could they go about contacting you or just to just to applaud for all you do for Burlington in our community? That's a great question and I uh, thank you for the kind words and thank you to all the, the sponsors and supporters that you've had. What you're, what you're doing is really important thank you. For, uh, for our community and, and not just folks that are uh, struggling with certain disabilities, it's um, you know it's it's good for everybody. So, so thank you for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can reach me uh, in my office. I have a team of folks that help me uh, respond, and mayor at Burlington.ca. But I do get a lot of people who are interested in getting more involved in the city, and there's a number of different ways. But one of them is through our citizens advisory committees. So we have uh, close to twenty. I think at last count, uh, heritage, inclusivity, accessibility, uh, the Mundialization Committee, which handles our Twin City relationships with Inabash in Japan and uh, uh, the Netherlands. And so, you know, watching for opportunities to volunteer your time. I've just listed a few the sustainable mm -hmm. development. Um, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of opportunities for people to volunteer, uh, and then the benefit is you directly can make recommendations or advise uh, council uh, based
based on what you're hearing, based on what you think is the right course of action in that particular uh, area of mandate for the committee. So uh, we we had suspended those for a time. We were doing mm -hmm. a review. We started some, and then of course COVID. Yeah. Uh, so then there were no meetings, and then and we've all now figured out how to do remote meetings like we're doing right now on uh, yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and other platforms. So uh, the meetings have started up again. Okay. And they are recruiting for uh, uh, for, for you know vacancies on various committees. So go to uh, cityofburlington.ca and you can Google opportunities, or you can go to the getinvolved.ca page for okay. the city of Burlington uh, to check out you know when vacancies come up. That page is actually a really important sort of uh, starter. Okay. For people wanting to get involved, because the, it, it just shows you the very many different ways. If you have a little bit of time to give, you know, take one of our surveys. Uh, there's, there's almost a new one every couple of weeks up there. If you uh, if you have a little bit more time to give, come to one of the public meetings, and those are listed there. We, we have public meetings uh, coming up on, for example, uh, the Tyne Davis Golf Course. And, there you go. You know what? You know, let's refurbish this. Let's imagine uh, anything more that this could be in the community. Uh, all year, you know, give us your ideas. Uh, we want to make this uh, the most vibrant place possible. Uh, so the, I've just given you a couple of examples. Oh, yeah. There's lots of other initiatives where residents can uh, just, you know, get involved and give us your thoughts and start to shape what happens in the community. So depending on whether you have a lot of time or a little time, there's lots of different ways to get involved. Well, I'll leave it with this. I, my parents live with me and they're both in their 80s. And I know Burlington is so enriched with uh, with seniors, and we're putting together now a little bit of an innovative plan on how to get the seniors more involved because they have so much to offer, and they're retired. And I just speaking from personal experience, my dad, he says to me every day, what do you got for me? Like, what do you got for me to do, Jay? I want to do something. So we're going to be contacting you because I think it would be great if we can match up the, the, the youth with the seniors. And, and sort of come up with some innovative plan. Well, and a great place on that kind of an idea to start would be with our uh, Recreation Services Department because they're, uh, for example, when, when COVID first hit, they have started to uh, develop online and virtual events and experiences. So they have, for example, the Telepals program. It's all telephone. Uh, all you need is a phone to call in. I was a guest recently and uh, seniors across the city have participated in that. That's just one example. Yeah. Uh, but they, you know, there's our, of course, our senior center. Uh, I know some of the uh, retirement homes and, and communities in Burlington uh, welcome young folks to come and visit and interact. Uh, maybe not now. Not right now, yeah. So yeah. We, need to, we need to figure out those virtual opportunities. But telephones is a great one. Okay. I will. Uh... Do it from the safety of your home. Yeah, I will so definitely have your, follow up. Have your parents reach out to, uh, to our recreation services, or you can email me, and we can make sure we put you in touch with them. Well, thank you, Mayor, and thank you for your time, and thank you for your staff. You have a wonderful staff. They always uh, they always respond and take care of us, so we really appreciate that. You're doing a great job, and we will see you on Brand Street around Burlington. Awesome. Thank you so much for everything you do, Jay. Thank you, Mayor. Bye-bye now. Rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.